A very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. And here we have Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I'm going to pick a defender, Thiago Silva. Uh, a natural athlete for me with all the characteristics to be at the top of his trade. He's a natural leader too and sets an example in, in showing great discipline. Uh, arguably the world's best. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Looks to slip it through. Robin. Now the cross. Can he get the shot away? Wolves loose, who's getting there? Away from immediate danger. Oh, it's Ibrahimovic. Bayern Munich. Lots of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Benatia is long and forward. Nicely controlled. Mora! Goal! Bayern Munich! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Bayern Munich get themselves into the lead. Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal when you look through this team. He's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. Robin, a chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, there's no messing about with this fella, is there? Just went straight down the middle. If only he could have applied the finish with the same conviction. It's Ibrahimovic. Marco Verratti. Verratti looking for options. Alaba did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. It's Lewandowski! That is terrific from Lewandowski! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. That has brought the house down. What a wonderful hit. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation. And once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. Bayern Munich get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on... He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Thiago Silva. David Luiz. And it's Matuidi. Looks to thread it through. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Matuidi, Ibrahimovic, in it goes, just one in it now, the game takes on a whole new complexion. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box, nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. It's bounced back off the post. That is gorgeous from Muller. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Bayern Munich, two up and into a position of real strength. Well, they've got themselves into such a good position now with a two-goal cushion. I wouldn't like to be in their dressing room if they let this one slip. Aurier looks to dink one in.
it's Robin. It's gone out for a throw in. Robin. It's Robin! Well, with this guy and the talent he's got, you know he's probably going to try his look from there, but that one he didn't really get right at all. safety we've reached half time Bayern Munich head in for half time with a 3-1 lead so off we go once more before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Ibrahimovic. Chance to shoot, and the ball's come out. Now it's Berati. Big chance. Oh, we're tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. We've got to see a, a real determination and purpose now if this deficit is to be recovered. No holding back and being patient about this challenge. It's time to roll the sleeves up and, and go for it. Vidal is fouled. a bit special by Munich grab a three goal lead it's just too easy and it's Ibrahimovic looks like a good ball through Cavani with a shot no not quite Lewandowski, Thiago, Lewandowski, it's a long forward pass, Lucas Moura, full tilt down the right hand side, there's going to be a change here, there's a man waiting to come on, Ribéry, Paris Saint-Germain still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Now it's Lucas Moura. Chip through. And that's not going to reach. Verratti with the ball through. Tries one! Oh, taken with style! Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside. And he's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. So is this the start of a comeback? Lam. Muller. Vidal. Thiago Silva. Oh, it's Ibrahimovic. Di Maria. 
Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Sees it out of harm's way. And it's Matuidi. Is there any support? He might not need it. Lucas Moura! Oh, should have put that away. Oh, it was a real opportunity to get right back into this game, but they've got to forget it now, move on, it's gone. Tries a through ball, and he's there to cut it out. Van de Beer. Thrust towards the front line. Benatia positions himself well and cuts it out. Ward shows there will be three extra minutes. Thiago. And that's it. Paris Saint-Germain beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, the only thing I can say about that is they've been taught a bit of a lesson here. It's horrible to lose by that many goals. Ladies and gentlemen. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin. And goodbye from us.